This is what a lot of folks think it's going to be like. An apocalyptic wasteland poisoned by radiation. Incredible electric storms, sometimes with buckets of acid rain, other times dry as a bone for long periods of time. They think they'll have to scrounge for food and when they find it, they won't know if it will poison them or not. What might be hanging from that rack might not be what you thought you would ever eat, but then again, when a person's awful hungry, you just never know, do you? They envision madmen roving across the countryside looking to steal anything they can get their hands on. Weapons and ammo being the first item of their choice. Lawlessness, that's what they envision. A complete and total breakdown of society where the strong will rule, where it will be dog-eat-dog. -dog. Or maybe worse, then you know what? For some of them they may be right, but not for very long. It didn't happen overnight, you know that, right? It has been brewing for a very long time, nearly 2,000 years now. The Almighty is mighty patient, but after a while, and at his appointed time his patience wore out. The time of the Gentiles came to an end. So at least in part, some of it did happen overnight, at least in the minds of those who did not have eyes to see and ears to hear. I usually hang out here. It's a pretty good vantage point. Makes it a little easier to see who's coming this way. And I've learned from past experiences that's a very good thing to know. It ain't just the moral character of some folks that has changed. Some of them have lost the entire compass of their life. Some of them are just downright evil now. I set up those little stores down there a few months back, and best I could. The meat safe and the juice in those cans is also, as far as I know. I didn't set them up as a trap. I ain't looking to hurt no one unless I have to. Those things are there to find out who's maybe still trustworthy and who isn't. These times changed almost everybody. The ones I feel I can trust I go down and meet. Cautiously, of course. Most all of them keep moving on to some place they think will be better. Some place they think will still be like it used to be. I hope they find what they're looking for. But I think those days are long gone. And they ain't coming back. The first time I came all the way up here, I had different plans for myself. It had become too much to bear losing my wife and child in the first attacks, watching all the death and horror, all of what was happening was just more than I could bear. I didn't know for sure what had happened or who had started all this destruction. All I knew was that my loss was too much for me to live with and I planned on ending it all. I don't know what caused me to change my mind, not enough guts to even take my own life, probably. At least that's what I thought at first. But on the way back down to the ground, I found a book. Well, at least a part of a ripped up and partially burned book. A Bible. I saw all the news programs, the same as most other folks. Wondered why those in authority were doing what they were doing. It seemed like they were intentionally trying to destroy civilization as we knew it. Trying their best to make life as hard as possible for everyone but themselves. 
I even started watching some of those preacher folks on YouTube occasionally, listening to how they said all this was told of in the Bible. How the wrath of God was going to fall on the whole planet. How it was finally time to end it all. I didn't pay all that much attention to any of it. To tell you the truth, I had my own life to live, a family to take care of, and things I wanted to accomplish before I got too old to enjoy them. I guess that's why I picked up what was left of that Bible. I had to find out for myself. Some of the folks, like I said, that pass through here, it's best not to associate with. In fact, it's a really good idea to hide and stay hidden until they move on. But some of them I've spoken to and some of their stories I've listened to. How much can be believed, I can't say, but I don't think most of them were trying to lie. Seems like there may be some places over in Europe that were basically undamaged, like whatever happened here just passed them by. That's not to say that some of them aren't suffering. But it doesn't sound like it's anywhere near as bad as it is here. At least if you can believe what those people said they heard, It took a while to see it, all that stuff I started noticing on the television and internet, but after a while I couldn't unsee it. The woman was represented as the leader of the home, sometimes even the child. While the man of the house was portrayed as a bumbling fool who couldn't find his way to the bathroom without help. We were supposed to love everybody no matter what lifestyle they chose for themselves. And if you didn't love them, if you didn't accept them as who they at least they thought they were, well then, that same love was not returned to you, but instead, hatred was what you received. And the authorities, those in charge, you know, they weren't just going along with all this, but they were instituting some of it for their purposes. It all just seemed like a mad dash to get as far into sin as was humanly possible. It was like they wanted the Almighty to destroy them. And that's just what he did up to nearly every living thing on the planet. And according to the Bible I found, or maybe I should start saying, that Bible that he led me to, he ain't done yet. I put the mask on, but I didn't get the injection. I didn't see a need for it, I was self-employed, and well, if the folks that hired me didn't think it was right for me to be around them without that shot, so be it. But I put the mask on, in hindsight, to my own weakness. It was only the beginning, mandates and lockdowns became a way of life. I could tell that those who oversaw our government were doing their level best to destroy it. Probably because somebody had promised them something more, something better in their eyes. It wasn't until I started being shown the truths of these days from the scriptures that I could finally put two and two together. They were hoping to sit at one of the big tables. I don't have to see them or hear about them to know that somewhere across the ocean there are ten kingdoms now with ten kings. I don't have to have it revealed to me that those people over there are going to have to accept the mark or be cast aside. Probably tortured, 
be sent to a place where their head will be removed from their bodies. It says so right in the Word of God. I went back up to that rooftop a few months back, not to think about jumping off again, but to give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm trying to live my life, what's left of it, the best I can for His glory, trying to do what it says in the book of Luke, to endure to the end. I don't know if my end will be here or if I'll be transported by His mercy over to the Mount of Olives when He comes back with His saints to walk into that thousand-year reign of His on this earth. Either way, one of the truths that He has shown me is that it don't really matter now. One way or the other, I'll live with Him forever. Those lights you see up there in those containers and around some of the other places here are people who have had the truth revealed to them the same way as was for me. We realize we've been left behind and in a way that brings sorrow to us. But that don't mean we ain't doing what we've been commanded to do, what all you who have been crucified with Him have been commanded to do. Encourage each other. Reach out to those who will listen about the salvation He offers to all, to fulfill the law of Christ by bearing each other's burdens. You folks that are watching this, you folks that have been born again, who have been hid in Christ, you need to understand something here. I'm probably never going to meet your pastor or one of your elders. I'm never going to give a second thought to anything spiritual, probably never even pick up a Bible. But I may meet you one day, either in the hardware store, the grocery store, or maybe even out fishing one day. And if you don't tell me about the Lord, then this is where I might end up. Or worse, I might be like those billions of people that are probably now dead or are going to be before these days are over. You can't save me, that ain't your job. But your responsibility is to talk to me, not about the weather, not about current events or the way things are going, but about my soul and the only one who can save me from my sins. If you don't, then folks, in my opinion, you ain't got no right to call yourself a Christian.